you look at that, you know when you just get one of these armoured that just does not want to strip properly? Bloody hell. I recognise this cupboard. Hi right, guys, welcome back to another one. If you've seen the previous video, um, I don't let my, drag, my videos drag on 10 minutes, that's max. So if you uh, want to see the next, the last video, just hit the subscribe button, the bell button, and you'll see my other videos, uh, and you can check out the channel. Um, so in this video, I just want to show you what I've done. I've got the armour to throw into the riser, metal bandy strap, because they're suspended above. Um, I've cut the armour down now um, to a more manageable size, because I'm going to glam them off soon. Just show you what I've done. I've actually mounted a piece of tray, inverted it, mounted a piece of tray on the ceiling there, um, to bring the armoureds down, and they're going to spin them onto the wall, cleat them down the wall here, gland them into the trunk in there. Um, so we've got that to do. We've got two more switches to mount here, next to these two, and then we can start getting this finished and um, yeah, get the job progressing along nicely. Well, I've now just got fed up waiting for the bushes and lock, uh, couplers, so I've drilled all the holes, got all them in the right place. I've used a piece of timber just to space these out for me, two inches, so it's all equal. And I've got enough room here to drill out the four armoured um, glands where they're going to come in now, so I'm, I'm going to do that next. I'll just show you what you get in an armoured pack if you've uh, if you've never done it before, if you're just watching the video. Um, this is the gland. It's actually got me waterproof glands for some reason that go on the cable. You get a little banjo bolt that um, goes under. And you put a uh, bolt on there to uh, earth it down, and you also get a little sleeve that goes on the uh, armoured cable. Um, but obviously, I'll show you this as we go. Right, this is what I've sort of envisaged. These are a bit bigger than I um, thought, but we get them in. Um, so, we're going to get the four armoured glended into there. First, I'm going to do is mark these up, and then I'm going to worry about the banjo bolts after, just double them up. So, get that all marked up first. Just a little trick for marking these out, obviously. Um, that's quite awkward to try and get a pen around there. So if you get uh, obviously check what size your um, hole is going to be. This is uh, a 25 mil. So what you do is get yourself a 25 mil coupler, and then you can draw around that a lot easier. Get it equally spaced, and it'll be perfect. Four holes uh, drilled there now. Four holes drilled there now. Um, just remember to leave enough gap so you can actually turn the gland if you need to when tightening it up. So what we're going to do next is get the armoureds brought down the tray here, turn them to the wall and then gland them off into these uh, glands here. Right, in store to carry on tomorrow. For you that will be the same video but for me it will be a different day. And now uh, we've just been joined by the snow now in Oxford. Trek 82 miles back to my car. Um, I'm gonna make it home, so we'll see you tomorrow. If it's on like this, I'll be lucky to bloody get to work tomorrow. Ooh, right, here we go. We're back again in the cupboard of dreams. First job get the armaments into there, get some focus. Right, first job of the day get these armaments down here. A little tip when cable tying. Get your cable tie through and then you can measure your next gap the size of cable tie you're using and then you keep it all nice and uniform all right cables are now cable tied down and now i've got to sweep them in this is the crucial point now getting this measurement correct because if you don't get this measurement correct um, they're not going to look any good so i'm going to um i'll show you one i'll do one arm and i'll show you how to make one arm off um, I'm going to put some metal ties in the middle of here just because these are suspended over your head and if there is a fire you don't want all the cables hanging down on your head so the metal ties do prevent that in some way. Right first things first get your gland in where it's going to be where it's going to be sat and then roughly get a mark where it meets that ring there where you think it's going to be. I've left a bit so I can push the slack up. Next you want to ring your axle around this just so it takes off the metal um, sheathing there. I'll show you that. You just cut through just enough to be able to bend it off. Right, all I've done there 
it's got my hacksaw and bring it around the cable there just enough to go through the metal frontage there I've not broken any cable and then next I'm going to get my knife and I'm going to score down the cable just to take this black off and then you bend these metal uh, sheathing out the way I'm going to show you this as best I can obviously without having tripods and stuff here so you just literally get your knife cut away from yourself just literally push the knife up the cable and that will take the outer sheathing off like that do that all the way up to where you've made off your gland Right, once you've got your armour to this stage, literally you just peel off the metal outer sheath, just keep twiddling it round, and then bring it up all the way to the armoured. And then when you get to this end, I'll just show you one. Literally where you've scored the cable, that should just come off as easy as that. So literally you just break all these metal bits of armoured off until you get to this stage, like this. Right, next. Heard it out, blurry. Next you want to get your sock that you get, cut it down, if you just measure that to there, cut this piece off, slide that on and then we're going to slide the top of the gland on, leaving this piece off, That piece, this is a waterproof gland, this piece goes on as well and then you just leave that piece that slides up on, you bring your knife around here and then you just slide this on and then drop the rest of the gland on, tighten it up. I'm just going to show you that now. Right, I'll show you this as best I can. So you've got the outer sleeve sock on, you've got the gland. These ones have a separate olive that slides on and goes over the top. Underneath you've got your actual gland here that locks on. And all I've done is run my knife around here and bent these tabs out. So the first thing you want to do is slide your gland up so it's seated like this. And then bring all of your other bits down on top, apart from the sleeve. That can stay at the top there, so I can get it off. So you just literally bring it all down, clamp that up, and work it off. And then literally tighten this piece down onto this thread, nice and tight. That will clamp the gland up, and that will give you a nicer uh, through this wired sheath here. Right, so there we go, glands now on nice and tight. All I did was get my two sets of grips and just tighten those two lock nuts up. This one's more of a waterproof in top for outside, so this isn't that important inside, but um, you just slide your sleeve over. It's nice to get that nice and tight like that, especially if it's outside. And then next, we're just um, gonna feed this over into the hole, put some cleats um, down the wall, get these all tied back. So I'm gonna crack on with this and I'm gonna show you the end result. Just what I remember, make sure you get your banjo under the gland there and then you get your lock ring under there and you just tighten that all up nice and tight and then drill a little 6 mm hole and bolt that to the trunk in. Armoured now installed down here, these are going to get metal ties on because they're overhanging. Now I've got nice twist on the cables, saddled, cleated to the wall, comes down into the trunk in, I've doubled the banjo up there. Double the banjo up there, bolted into the trunk in. These are now going to come into each switch. I'm going to get that switch bolted in, get these made off and connect into the load side of the switch now. Right, once you've got your armors to this stage, you can either strip them right back there and run singles in the trunk in, because that's your protection, your mechanical. All I'm going to do is leave this on right until it comes into the switch and just make it off here. Um, the way you do that is just get your standing knife, ring it round really gently run it down the cable, obviously shorten this, you only want to be stripping as much as you need and then just bring the singles up and in. Right, I've brought my armoured in, I've stripped it off here, obviously this is a free core armoured because you've got a live grey being your neutral, black being the earth, you use the black as the earth because you don't want to associate the black with the old colours which is the neutral, some old colours here, that's what you see on fuse boards, um, mixed wiring. Um, colour sticker because you've got the black. Anyway, so if you just strip your cable off to the correct length, and this is an Allen key, all I'm going to do is take those out, put each in. These are 16mm um, 
armoured, feeding the flats. They're only small, a couple of circuits in them. Not a lot to be honest, a couple of lighting circuits, smoke alarms, boiler, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to make these off. I'm going to do all four and I'll show you the end result. Please, all the keyboard warriors out there, if you read the uh, book that comes with a switch, you do get a um, newton meter um, readings there, which you can torque these down to at the minute. I'm just nipping them up with an Allen key, but I will get our torque screwdriver and torque all these up. Can I recommend it? Manufacturer's specification. Right guys, so if you can see, I've flagged up all my cables live, neutral and uh, live, neutral and earth that way. I did just test these through the switch and the only ones that isolate are the live and neutral. The earth is continuous all the way through the switch. Um, sometimes you do get um, like a three pole switch, but not on this one. Um, I've got a little earth thing there, which I will do some cross bonding to the trunk. I know it's bolted through here, but I will just put, it's good practice just to link them all together. Um, so that's the end of the video today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I tried to keep them around 10 minutes. So um, if you want to see any more videos, just give me a comment below. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.